Today in our Fast Five with Dr. Doug, we're at the beautiful Gold Coast at Aquinas College at Ashmore, and we have the wonderful opportunity to learn a little bit about what makes Marcus Richardson, principal of Aquinas College, tick. Marcus, you're into your second six months as principal of Aquinas College. What are you looking forward to this year? I think I'm looking forward to deepening my familiarity with the school. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a quality six months transitioning into Aquinas and, and I've enjoyed every opportunity I had to, to I suppose, grow as a leader in that time. Um, I think getting to know the community, taking advantage of some of the great consultation we've had and moving the school forward, they're the things that I look forward to the most. Mm. So what can parents expect from Principal Richardson in 2022? I, I, I'm hopeful they can expect a relational approach from, from me as the principal. I, I hope they see me as a partner in their education of their, their child. I'd, I'd like them to feel that they are the first educator and that they're empowered to work with me in getting greater outcomes for their kids. Now, Marcus, schools are busy, complex places and a college such as Aquinas is a large college. What are some of the challenges you see as a leader and educator facing schools yeah. and your school? Yeah. I, th I think COVID is, is the most obvious response in terms of um, the challenges in, in leading at the moment and, and trying to provide a learning environment that's, that's, that's as normal as possible. That's, that's our great challenge. I know that we've, we've introduced an explicit improvement agenda uh, that, that's really focusing on pedag pedagogical practices and creating a shared language within, within the community is something that's important and helping our families and our students understand why this is a priority for us is another challenge as well. Now that's a really great segue into the next question which is around opportunities. We have seen some really interesting challenges with COVID as you've mentioned, but some innovations in schools. So have you been able to identify some opportunities for uh, Aquinas College going forward? Yeah, definitely. I, I just find that the, the technology that's grown out of um, pandemic conditions has, has been something that we've leveraged off heavily. The way we meet, the way we teach, the way we use our, our resources across the different technologies that we employ has been really innovative and I'm really excited about schools going forward in terms of what education looks like with these platforms that we can leverage off when we have a, a return to normal learning for a better way of expressing it. So when you're not leading this vibrant learning community, how do you stay balanced? What do you like to do? I, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a cricket fan, I'm a rugby league fan, um, I enjoy my movies, but, but my wife and I are in the stage of our lives now, we've got, we've got um, secondary school age boys that are involved in sport and, and other interests and, and we really love just enjoying those opportunities um, to be with them and on their journey at the moment, but certainly look forward to those opportunities to escape through um, various sporting interests and, and I'm a big science fiction fan and that's my absolute space of escape. So Marcus, I have to ask, you said you're a rugby league fan, who do you follow? I'm a Brisbane Broncos supporter, so. Okay, well, I'm a Knights, Newcastle Knights supporter, so I'll let that one go at the moment and just say, Marcus Richardson, Principal of Aquinas College, thank you for your time. Thank you for joining in a Fast Five with Dr. Doug.